Greeting Barbecue Crasher subscribers. This will be the one year review of the Camp Chef Smoke Pro Pellet Grill. We've put over 300 pounds of pellets and this is gonna be our review of the Smoke Pro Pellet Grill by Camp Chef. Come follow the adventure. Let there be smoke. I'd like to thank Film Banter. Uh, Chris and Kim sent me a little book here and wrote a note on in the book. It's called Wicked Good Barbecue. I love receiving little thank you gift packages from our fans. And uh, we thought you could use this as much as us. Kim received this book along with the new electric grill she purchased recently, but we will never use it. Enjoy. See you soon, Chris and Kim. So thank you so much, Chris and Kim. Film banter can be found down below along with our affiliate links. They review uh, movies and actually they do a really good job of movie reviews. Let's start out with the specifications of the Camp Chef Smoke Pro SE Pellet Grill. This is the entry level base model and it comes with a bunch of features such as a very easy to use turn dial temperature control from shut off, low smoke, high smoke and every temperature in between up to high burn. There's a generous hopper with a hinged door on top. It allows you to use it as a cooking tray when in the closed position. In the back is the operational schematic. Some of the more advanced models would have a hopper drainage feature, which would allow you to simply change your pellet hardwoods in between cooks. Has a nice little swivel access port hole on the side where you could put your temperature probe to monitor your food without having to go through the front door. On the right hand side is the ash clean out. By pulling that lever out, the ashes will fall into a cup underneath the unit and the oil collection bucket. Here is a ash cup that we were talking about. Very easy to take on and off, easy to get to underneath the grill. Let's go under the hood here. This particular model only comes with one cooking grate. With the grate removed is a uh, oil collection pan or flavor pan. It's on a slight angle going down to the right that allows the oil to drain through a trough and out to the outside of the unit in the oil collection bucket. Underneath that big pan is another stainless steel piece of metal that protects the open flame of the direct pellet burn chamber. Here's another angle of that being removed. So let's go back out in the field and I will talk about the disadvantages and finish with the advantages. So right off the bat, as you can hear, I have cars going back and forth. The care for a pellet grill is going to be different than a care for a normal grill. The reason why I'm in my front yard filming this video and using the grill is that I house and store this grill in my garage. Uh, if you have a shed, you could probably put it in your shed, but this is not a type of grill that you're going to want to put a rain cover over it and store it outside. There's electronic uh, circuit boards in here, as well as moving parts with an auger and a combustion fan motor. So you have to make sure that you have the setup and the means to store your pellet grill when you're not using it. If you don't store it properly, you're not going to have uh, a good experience with longevity. Two is the sticker price. Um, now that you are able to have a pellet grill and store a pellet grill, are you willing to spend anywhere from 400 to 600 for a decent model? We were lucky that we found this grill for about $80. It was a scratch and ding. It works perfect. And we wouldn't have bought it otherwise for the, the normal sticker price had it would not have been reduced. So those are two disadvantages. The third would probably be the availability of pellets. The big box stores will sell out towards the middle of summer because they're not going to restock. So you have to then store your pellets in a dry place and buy extra pellets for the winter. That should not really be a problem because, you know, with Amazon.com, you could just order what you want and they'll ship it to you. But if you're not a computer savvy kind of guy and don't want to order things online, it's seasonal in, in which some, most of the big box store brands have the pellets. The other thing would be um, a disadvantage 
and there's not many disadvantages with pellet growing is I guess keeping it clean when uh, when you want to clean it inside you will have to use a shop vac to clean out some of the dust particles from the pellets that escape but it they collect in the bottom of the um, of the grill not really a big deal so those are the disadvantages other than you know having to plug it in and finding electric so the advantages in my opinion outweigh the disadvantages so if, okay now now you have a good place to store it you can afford the initial uh, investment in it and you're willing to make the commitment with using pellets great we got that all out of the way here's the advantages you set it and forget it you put it on whatever temperature you want you walk away I'm gonna be doing a three to one method on ribs. I'm gonna walk away for the first three hours. I'm gonna wrap them. I'm gonna walk away for the second two hours. All right, and, uh, and then I'm gonna come back for the last hour. I'm, I'm just gonna visit this grill three times at that point. That's it. There's no maintaining it. There's no watching it. This is more than just a grill. It's a convection oven because there's air circulating inside there, moving air around. It's using uh, wood as a fuel source. So now we're getting the, the notes of whatever hardwoods and the flavors that we're uh, using as the fuel. Uh, and two, and three, three, it's an oven. It's basically, you know, an oven slash grill. So you could, you could bake in it. You could do pastries and uh, brownies and you could do uh, slow and slow smoke. It's a smoker. So it's basically you got rid of the electric smoker and now you have a grill. You got rid of the charcoal and now you have the pellet grill. You got rid of the propane and now you have a pellet grill. This does so much other than sear, high heat sear. This will do pretty much everything else with the convenience of a dial of setting the temperature. So you're getting the best of all the other types of barbecue in, in a pellet style. Smoke Pro, pellet grill by Camp Chef is the baseline. It's the cheapest model they sold at Walmart at the time. And it's worked, it worked fine for me. If there's anything special you'd like to see, I have a year's worth of bucket footage. So please send me a message in the comment section. I can make a video and I have the bucket footage of me using this in the middle of the blizzard of 2018. We made Nutella brownies while we are out camping, pizza. We've made poor man's pastrami with uh, corned beef send me a message i'll try to look through my bucket footage and get it out to you uh, i enjoy using it so much that i'm out here using it rather than editing the videos at back inside so long story short very happy with the company of camp chef they don't know who i am um, i'm not sponsored by any means uh, i just feel that it's a good product and um, when i call customer support just to talk about hey um, you know, where are you guys located? What are you guys about? They're located right in the US. They pick up the phone pretty much immediately. The receptionist was very pleasant to talk to. And I think it's a very good brand going forward. So I'm happy using it. Um, I hope that I could buy some accessories for this grill. There's some racks and stuff that go in here, but this has been um, my entry level into pellet grilling and um, it's been rocking out i mean totally rocking out so make sure you like subscribe share send me a comment if you're interested in me using this in the middle of the blizzard which is some really cool footage on there in the middle of a snowstorm or if you want to see me taking this camping and using it on a, in a campground let it let me know it's small enough to travel with and it's big enough to feed the family so it's that perfect size um, grill Thank you so much for watching.